Greetings from the brand new Insta360 ONE RS. I'm holding the camera in my hands. It's tiny, it's modular, and in this video, everything is shot on this camera unless otherwise indicated. And big thanks to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. Uh, look at how tiny this little camera is. It is so small. It's sitting on top of an Apple box right now. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the Insta360 ONE RS's accessories. I've got the 360 lens as well. A lot of you have been asking since I started live streaming on YouTube what my current desk setup looks like. So we'll go through that real quick because a bunch of you have liked the videos I've done on things to do in New York City and I live here I still live here and I haven't even scratched the surface of places to eat things to do that kind of thing and today you're getting a haircut recommendation I've been getting my haircut at this place for a really long time but without further ado I'll take you through the desk setup right now oh and by the way I'm shooting this handheld right now and the flow state stabilization is keeping things really steady and if you're curious I'm shooting at 4k 30 FPS okay starting with the mic Microphone. Same Shure SM7B, but I've got this low profile Elgato mic mount. I've got the New York City subway train tracker. This thing is pretty cool. There's an original iPod right there too. I've got the same two monitors as I've had before, but this time they're on top of each other like this. I've since switched to an Extrafy M4 wireless mouse. This is my friend's keyboard company. It's called Clack. There's a Rubik's Cube, obviously. Uh, there's, there's never not a Rubik's Cube within arm's reach in here. So this is the mount that I mount to my helmet, mount to this selfie stick right here. And what's cool is you just press this button and the door opens and it closes very easily. I like the way this thing is designed. And then this is new. So this is my vertical monitor. It's only 1080, but it does the job. Now I've got my webcam my streaming camera is a 1dx mark ii as you can see it's plugged in here i do have an add up there but the angle is a little bit weird i find this angle to be much better and then it's hooked up over hdmi right to a cam link so when i'm streaming this is how i'm set up on the stream it's literally a giant apple box and i have a tripod mount there to keep the camera stable and that's how i do my live streams now you know and then just to show you how stable this is again i'm handheld I'm walking normally. There's definitely, you know, some shake from my arm and that kind of thing. I'm gonna step off the step there, come down, and it's very smooth. And so now I've got it in the mount and I can extend the selfie stick like this. And you can get some shots like this, which it's gotta look really cool, doesn't it? I can give you a little jog here to show you the stabilization. All right, I quickly switched to the 360 mod. Now, what's cool is I can turn like this, but then I can also do this. And then if I extend the selfie stick up here, I can also change it to look like this. This lens allows you to get some really versatile shots. And then just for fun, I'll show you what it looks like when I stick this thing outside the window. Never a dull moment in this city, huh? So I can look in any direction because I'm recording in any direction. Now, if you didn't hear what I said, I said, what's cool about using a 360 camera is I can point at any direction at any given time because this camera is recording over here and it's recording over here. Okay, before we go outside, I wanna walk you through how this camera works and show you some of the incredible features because there's so many things this camera can do. So starting off with the hardware, this battery sled here is 21% bigger than the former Insta360 ONE R. You can see it's a little bit bigger over there. So 21% bigger battery. And yes, this red component down here is the battery sled, as I call it. And you can just simply unlatch the camera like so. And this is how you switch modules. So you just pull the camera apart like this. And if you want a 360 mod, boom, you just snap it into place, put the battery back on like this, and boom, now you've got the 360 mod on there. So battery, this is the brains and the screen. 360 mod, 
and then the new 4K boost lens. So this half inch sensor enables 48 megapixel stills, there's active HDR video, and there's a new chip in this core. So you're getting six axis gyroscopic stabilization plus flow state stabilization, which is the software stabilization right out of the camera. No post-processing necessary. So you see how it says flow state right there. Again, everything shot here at 4K 30 unless otherwise indicated. And now the software and the hardware are combining to give you super stable 4K footage. The Insta360 ONE RS is waterproof down to 16 feet and Insta360 recommends using the housing. Now I mentioned there's active HDR video. So you just hit the video button, switch over to active HDR. And I'll show you a clip on the screen real quick of me recording in active HDR outside. So this is active HDR video, I'm inside. I'm gonna step outside. Oh my God, that sun is so bright. I think what's most noticeable is that the sky and me are exposed, right? I'll turn it around this way so you can see. There's also a 6K widescreen video mode. So these files are roughly 6,000 by 2,500. And just to show you how wide and crispy this is, Right now, there's only 24 and 25 frames per second. I'm shooting at 25 frames per second, but 30 FPS in the 6K wide mode is coming. There's also the ability to digitally zoom. So you press that plus button there. It's a capacitive button. It's not just like a sticker. And then you just slide and you can see you're reframing digitally. That's really good that that's there because sometimes you don't only want to shoot in ultra wide. You can also go up here for sort of quick settings. Narrow goes to 28 millimeters. And if you want to get all the way, you can shoot at 50 millimeters. It's as easy as just sliding your finger across the screen. And the housing, I really like the design of this housing. So there's only one way to insert it. You can see the record button and the power buttons are both you know, sort of located in the same location. So you pop the door open over there and then you know that it slides in this way. You just close the door and then you can still access your record and your power button there. And because of the way the camera and the housing is designed, this is where the charging port is. It charges over USB-C, which is awesome. And there's the micro SD card slot. And that means you can charge the camera while it's in the housing. So thank you Insta360 for that little design benefit. Another really cool One RS feature worth mentioning is this thing called Snap Wizard reframing. So in the Insta360 app, I'm screen recording so you can see what I'm doing. I've got a 360 clip here. It's me skateboarding on the West Side Highway. First of all, you can change the aspect ratio of your video, which is so cool. I'm going to stick with 16 by nine. But if I press the record button and then I physically turn my body, it's using the gyroscope of my phone to point in what direction I want to point at. And then I can also use the slider to change to Tiny Planet, for example, zoom in and out. This is insane. This is really useful for people that may not be super familiar with how to do keyframes and that kind of thing. You just sort of look around and point to what you want to be in the video. Makes editing 360 videos so easy. Okay, helmet cam enabled. First things first, coffee, and then a haircut. Good morning, sir. I recorded this clip the other day. This is suited. This is where I get my coffee from. It's one of my favorite coffee shops in New York. It's located in the financial district. There is plenty of room to sit, hang out, read a book, and they've got food as well as the coffee. And the staff is super nice. I usually do a hot almond milk mocha. Yeah, it's delicious. This is where I'm getting lunch after the haircut, by the way. It's called Beatnik. So the place I'm getting my haircut is called On The Mark. All right, I'm just about there. On The Mark is located in the East Village on 13th Street and 1st Avenue on the mark. And yes, they do take walk-ins. What's going on, Mark? Good, man. Nisim, you want to be in a video and cut my hair?
right, take care guys, thank you. The haircut that I get is technically called an undercut, meaning the back and the sides, all the way basically up to the top, I do, I think it's a one, maybe even it's, no, I think it's a one. And then the top I just leave long, and I have curly hair, so my hair looks different basically every day. But yeah, so that's on the mark. Now I'm heading south on 2nd Avenue. We're going to Beatnik for lunch. I took the cam off the helmet just so you could see what handheld looks like it's just in the case right now in the in the mounting system but it's still gonna be super duper smooth all right next up on the list we're doing something a little bit touristy not gonna lie but if you come to New York you should definitely like I mentioned in one of my other videos go inside the Freedom Tower but what I didn't mention is the Oculus. The architecture is insane. It's basically a gigantic indoor mall, but I've just never seen a building design like this before. Check this out. Okay, so you can see the Freedom Tower, and then that like whale carcass bone looking structure. That is the Oculus. We're going inside. Look at this place so all the shops it's like a multi-floor there's an apple store in here and then look it's just like sort of floating over there how crazy is this it's just it's inexplicable the ceilings are so high i don't know how this thing was designed but it's incredible look it's just floating that is straight up just floating. It's crazy. Isn't this place crazy? that is going to do it for today's YouTube video. Again, thank you to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. The One RS, this camera, is the best action cam you can get for the budget because you're effectively getting two cameras in one. It's $549 for the One RS Twin Edition, which gets you the battery sled, which gets you the 48 megapixel 4K boost lens, which gets you the brains, which is the screen, you get the housing, and the 360 mod. And if you feel like you're not gonna use the 360 mod, you can get the 4K edition, which is $299, and it gets you everything except for the 360 lens. There is an affiliate link in the description to shop for the Insta360 ONE RS, so make sure you check that out if you're interested. And as always, thank you for watching.